Hi, this is Roger from Kaka Labs. Uh, today with an addition to my collection of hockey puck sized watches. Uh, you might have seen my video where I described the original Nixie watch from David Forbes aka Cathode Corner. Um, but today I will talk about the Solder Watch and the Solder Watch 2. Um, now I already introduced the Solder Time watch from Spikensi Labs in the other video where I also showed you my Nixie watch. And so let's talk about the Solder Watch uh, 2 and take a closer look uh, today. It comes uh, for the double price, uh, the kit as compared to the original Solder Time watch. And as you can see, the original Solder Time watch uh, is just a classical four digit seven segment display with a pick processor and uh, it just has a single knob. What both of them are missing is a kind of uh, transparent film just to increase the contrast. As you can see how much the contrast is increased when I just use this transparent red film overlay. And uh, let's take a look how the contrast is here. And you can see it's really bad. It's a five by seven dot matrix display, all in all with four kind of digits. So it's all in all seven by 40 pixels. And uh, the first big difference is this very bad contrast. And if you move it, you can, you do not see this here on uh, camera, but if you move it, uh, you even can see the display multiplex. Um, so uh, the contrast can be improved quite substantially also with a little piece of red transparent film. So I don't know why Spikensi Labs do not sell. They have a laser cutter, so though. So they could easily uh, add a piece of cut out, laser cut um, red film that exactly fits into or onto uh, the display. So both of the watches uh, work with a microcontroller and an added uh, Dallas Maxim real time clock with a dedicated a quartz crystal. Both of them are not trimmable, so uh, they are not very accurate. Uh, they are about one minute off per month, uh, so that's not very good. Might be due to the chosen uh, 32 kilohertz uh, quartz crystal and uh, the, the uh, which perhaps has the wrong capacitors. Anyway, both clocks are powered by a lithium coin cell. I think it's a CR2032. And the microcontrollers here, this is a pick. Here they are using the classical 80 mega 328. Uh, so this one here is Arduino compatible. Um, it even has a programming header that you can, can access without taking uh, the clock apart. So if you have an FTDI a USB to serial converter with this uh, six pin header. Uh, you can program it from the outside. Um, but you already could see one annoying thing. Here the lowest layer of this stack of acrylic um, sheets is so thin that when I uh, put the, the Velcro strap through the slots, uh, it immediately broke. If we com compare it, um, here the solar watch, the original one, has all three identical thickness, of, or four identical thickness sheets, but this one here has a very thin lower and a very thin top uh, acrylic sheet. So that's that was not such a good uh, idea and there's already there is uh, still an alarm buzzer for you can set the alarm so all in all I'm not so happy with this kind of advanced solder watch um, let's turn it on it's barely readable of course it has a few gadgets like let's see as you can use a stopwatch 
and you have a scrolling text, barely readable. I'll try to improve this with a transparent red film. Um, you can, of course, program that with uh, text of your own. I think 24 characters or something like that is the maximum. And um, a warm, what's that for? Um, I also don't know what this night display at the end uh, is telling you. So, um, all in all, the, the pixel display is just not only not so well readable, it's also darker due to the heavy multiplexing. So, so they are really uh, multiplexing this in a uh, 7 by 40 matrix, which means every single column uh, is only displayed 1 40th of the time. So that's quite extreme. But simply the most important thing about the clock is the readability and that is much better with the original solder watch. Uh, so for the double price there are only a few more gadgets but if, if you intend to get one as a geek or nerd clock I still suggest here the original solder time watch. It's simply the better geek clock. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanker Labs.